All right, welcome back to Hannity. She is back, our good friend of the program, our conservative commentator and author, writer, Monica Crowley. Welcome back. How are you? Hi, Sean. Okay. All right. Let me start because you, you, you obviously, you, but I, people may not know that you were the sister in law of our dear friend, Alan Combs, mm -hmm. and my heart goes out to you and your sister. How is, how is she doing? Thank you. She's okay. How are you She's doing? She's coping with it. Thank you for asking. Alan yeah. was such a gentleman, as everybody in this audience knows. Absolutely. And he was the kindest, most decent man you will ever meet. He treated everybody with the same respect and kindness, whether you were the president of the United States or the man on the street. He was my friend, and I he certainly was my friend, him. even though I disagreed with everything he said. <laughs> but, um, and I was really angry at a couple of outlets. We'll deal with that more in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so you were going to go to the administration. You got viciously attacked. And by the mm -hmm. way, you're not the only one. It's Bannon. It's Ryan. It's Kellyanne. It's uh, Steve Miller. It's even Melania. And they're going after Jared. And they go after Ivanka. They even went after a 10-year-old kid. It's pretty ugly. Mm -hmm. Now they're going after Sebastian Gorka, which is ridiculous. But it seems that anyone around the president is getting attacked. And I wanted to give you a chance because you hadn't been out there publicly for personal and other reasons mm -hmm. to, to respond to this. Well, look, what happened to me was a despicable, straight up political hit job. Okay? It's been debunked. My editor has completely supported me and backed me up. There is a very toxic, and it's getting increasingly toxic and poisonous atmosphere of personal destruction in Washington and the media. It's always sort of been there, but now it's at a whole different level. And this is exactly why smart and good people do not want to go into government service. I will tell you that nothing and nobody is ever going to stop me from speaking out on the issues I care about, about the future of this nation. There's also a really bigger point here, which is a lesson look at what that they did. I, look that what they I did learned. Look what they well, and this, this is the bigger point. In some ways, I was something of the canary in the coal mine. The attack on me was a test. What happened to me, what happened to General Flynn, what has happened to Attorney General Sessions and others is all of a piece. There is a very dangerous and very effective destabilization campaign underway against this president, his administration, and his agenda. And what I hope that the president and his senior aides understand is that these forces are not just looking to delegitimize him. We often talk about that. Sure, they want to do that. They want to personally destroy him, destroy his presidency, and they would like to see the man in prison. I hope that the president understands. I am not overstating this, having been a victim of this myself. They are out for blood. And the reason they have to destroy him is that Donald Trump is an alien organism that has been injected into the body politic by the American people to reform it. He must not be allowed to succeed. They have swarmed him. They have swarmed everybody around him in order to reject him out of the, the system, just like any alien organism. He must mm -hmm. not be allowed to succeed. And I hope that everybody around him now understands that this is a war and that they started a long time ago. But they will not end until they get the president of the United States. I, I totally agree with you. By the way, I want to say one thing. We have a mutual friend, Andy McCarthy. I don't think you should answer any of these people's questions because they can go straight to hell. That's my, my, you know how I deal with stuff. I don't care what anybody says. And I thought he did a great job in debunking the, the issue for you. And here's what's important, though, what you're saying. Very important, I think. I see five different factions going after the president, okay? And each one, you've got the snowflake fashion, all these protesters that are being paid in many cases mm -hmm. to create an image that there's chaos in the country. Then you've got a Democratic Party obstructionists want no part of this president succeeding because they look bad and are out of power for a long time. Then you've got a media establishment, which we know through WikiLeaks, colluded in this last campaign. They never vetted Obama. They never told the truth about what a failure Obama's been. That's a big part of it. Uh, then you've got Republicans that are weak and timid. And then the fifth part of it is an intelligence community that is so clearly and obviously, people within it, I have great respect for people in intelligence, but there are those in that community, the swamp, the shadow government that I talk about, uh, the, the, the state, if you will, the deep state that we talk about, they're out for blood. And this is five significant, powerful establishment forces that are lined yes. up against this president. This yes. is not a game. 
They want to destroy him, delegitimize him, and get him out if they can. They want him in prison, and, and this is what we need to understand. So true. David Brock and some of these organizations have already raised tens of millions of dollars for an impeachment process. Then they want jail to the chief. They need to understand that this is a war. This is we are so far beyond normal politics, Sean. We are in a very dangerous moment. And while President Trump is a very strong leader and a man of strong constitution, he was able to survive all of this during the campaign and get elected president. When you're president and you are faced with the kind of monolithic opposition you were talking about, plus a federal bureaucracy that is completely out to undermine him every day, the intelligence community that is engaged in some of this as well that we have heard, I hope to God that he is strong enough to withstand this. They are out oh, to destroy him because if he succeeds, the country changes for the good and they must not allow that to happen. Wow, what a strong, powerful admonition. We missed you. Was so sorry about Alan. My best Thank to you, you and your family. Thank and you, you know so how much, I feel Sean. about uh, all Thank of you. you.